Right here with Jamie Day, uh, two 0 victors tonight over East Bournemouth. Jamie, you asked for a reaction from Saturday. Do you feel you got it? Yeah, I'm pleased with you know the performance. Obviously, I was disappointed with Saturday, and that's that's gone now. And the boys are putting a decent performance tonight. You know, uh, teams are not going to make it easy for us. You know, they come in and they had a game plan. And it was down to us to break them down. And unfortunately, that's going to be the case. I think for the majority of the season now. So. Um, Really pleased. I thought we worked really hard. You know, we created a lot of chances in the first half and you know, didn't take them. But more clinical in the second half, and I felt that we deserved to win. Yeah, there was a, a lot of the play was kind of long ball tonight, and perhaps in other seasons we've been more to feet. Was that on purpose, or was that? Well, you know? I mean, you know, if we pass it, people <clears> are shouting from the side, get out the front, and then if we put it up the front in here, people are saying pass it. So we can't win. But, you know, we just have to go into every game, and, and we have to adjust to what the game is. You know, we, we want to pass it, but at the same time. You know, like tonight, we felt that it was the right ball to get it in behind the two centre halves. You know, they, you know, they, no disrespect to them, but they lacked a bit of pace, and, and we had lads that could run in behind. So, and it worked. You know, so we have to, you know, people keep running the back, getting three points, and winning games. We have to adjust to it and do what we need to do to get that win. Do you think that shows a different sign of versatility this season? Yeah, we have to be. Like I said, mm. you know, teams ain't going to let us just play football. You know, because of how we've done, you know, in the last two years, people now give us a bit more respect and it's now down to us to break teams down, you know, and and if we don't do that, you know, this is this is Teams Cup Finals now and I'm not saying that, you know, we're the best team in the league, but because of, of what we've done previously, you know, teams now come here and a point for them is a good result. So it's, it's harder for us this year and, you know, it's not going to be easy. I said that at the start and, it, and like I say, it's down to us to get the right effort and work rate and commitment and hopefully we'll have enough to get you know, get the right results. Uh, first clean sheet of the season this year, first positive, defence were great. Yeah, you know, I thought the back four don't exceptionally well, you know, we've got a 17-year-old that's right-footed playing left back and I felt that he was excellent tonight and he'd and he done exceptionally well on, on Saturday. So, um, you know, it's looking good for the future and like I say, we've got Anthony 21, Fraser 20, obviously Faz is the oldest one at the back, but um, good performance from him and Motti as well, so they've all done exceptionally well. Yeah, um, also Ross scored tonight, he's full for the season, he's proving to be a good recruit. Yeah, exactly, you know, so hopefully he keeps that going, um, he's something they've probably not had in the past, you know, a big, strong target man that can hold the ball up, and at the minute he's scoring goals, so um, he knows he's got to keep that going, but you know, at the moment his work rate and um, finishing's been excellent, so you know, I'm pleased for him. Absolutely, yeah. Um, do you feel there's still a lot more to come from the side? Yeah, I mean, you know, we want to play better football, as, as, as you put it, and we want to pass it a bit more, we want to be a little bit more slicker, but, you know, at this stage of the season, it's about trying to get the right result, results, you know, and as form works out in the next month or so and teams' confidence dip, then obviously we can start to build a bit more, but, you know, we need to get on a run of games, and hopefully tonight is the start of that, and we can pick up, you know, another couple of wins and, you know, get a little four or five game run going and, and move on and try and get up that table. One thing that we've been unlucky with so far has been the injuries. Obviously, last year we had quite a good run. This year we've had a lot more. Um, it shows that you've obviously got a good squad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, we've had some key players that have got injured, and you know, in fairness, you know, we've, we've dealt okay with it. Um, you know, we've got three or four good players that, unfortunately, have took knocks. You know, hopefully we can get one or two back. Um, Louis Cumbers has got a scan on Friday, so uh, we'll assess where he is, and we know, you know how much longer he's going to be out. And I think we've missed him. You know. He offers a lot to the side, um, but like you say, people have come in, and like I said, we've got to be patient with some of these young lads. You know, some are dropping down, have not played a lot of league games. Some are stepping up. You know, it's a big step up as well. So um, I think we've just got to be a bit patient, and obviously during that time, we've got to get you know a good team spirit that can get us through some games when we're not winning and, and get a little run going. And hopefully, like I say, we need to move up the table as quick as we can. Is there any room for any sort of loan signings to come in? Is that in your mind at the moment? Um, I'll have to ask Piggy. He's the boss. So. <laughs> Um, at the minute, like I say, I've spent my budget and um, we're happy with what we've got. Obviously, we'd like to you know, add to it if we can, but I know money's tight and you know, I've got the most that I can have, which is obviously you know, good from my point of view, but you know, I won't be using any more money at the minute. Sure. Just an update on uh, Jake Gallagher. Um, has international clearance come through yet? No, not yet. We're still waiting. So, obviously, you know, he's a player that we'd, we'd like to get involved in yeah. news um, as soon as possible. So, and he's itching to go as well. You know, he's been training and... You know, like I say, he's raring to go, so um, hopefully I can get done and it adds another you know, good player to the squad. Absolutely, yeah. Obviously a couple of games into the season, now looking at the league table, it's very, very open. It seems an open league this year. Yeah, I think it will be. You know, I think the team, that sounds stupid, are the most consistent and can deal with setbacks and quickly get back on a winning run will be the team that you know, I think will win it. And 
Um, it's very close, you know, after six games we've got two wins, three draws and a, and a loss, which is not bad, we knew we had a tough start. So I think we need to be positive and like I say, we're not too far off the top. And, you know, we don't need to be top at this stage of the season. So, um, yeah, it, it's a, I think it'll be a good league. Like I say, I think six or seven teams could possibly win it or be, you know, in with a good shout. And uh, finally, looking ahead to Saturday, another home game, another three points, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, like I say, you know, we've got no given right to just turn up and beat teams. But if we get the same performance and level of performance tonight, then hopefully we can get another three points. And you know, that's all we can ask for. Excellent. Thanks for time, Jamie. No Thank worries. You. Thank you.